I've had the privilege of knowing the only father and son world champions in the history of Formula One. The first one, of course, was Graham Hill, who won the championship in, what, 1962, and then again in 1968, won Indianapolis, one of the truly great Formula One drivers and sports car drivers. Uh, and he begat Damon, uh, and uh, Damon worked very hard, first of all in motorcycle racing, and he was a very good motorcycle rider. And his mum didn't really like him racing bikes, so she persuaded him off bikes into cars. And the rest is history, really, because he drove in Formula 3000, Formula 3, became the test driver for the Williams team in Formula 1, and badgered Frank Williams until he got a drive. And then tragically, when uh, Ayrton Senna was killed, Damon Hill took over as the lead driver in Williams and became world champion in 1996. And it was probably the most emotional experience of my life in Formula One because I had known him all these years and he became world champion at Suzuka in Japan. And I remember saying as he crossed the line, I've got to stop now because I've got a lump in my throat, and I really had. Jack Villeneuve, he took the lead, he stayed there, and Damon Hill exits the chicane and wins the Japanese Grand Prix. And I've got to stop because I've got a lump in my throat. Yeah. And so now we've got the third generation with Josh, and you can never tell how the son of a great driver is going to shape up. Damon shaped up very well to become world champion like his dad. I'm sure Josh would like to be. He's starting off well. He did well in Formula Ginetta and uh, he's racing now and doing well. But there's a long, long way for him to go. He's got to run to the line. It's Josh Hill. Josh Hill has done it on the line. What a race. That is Formula Ford. And it is Nowadays, uh, being good isn't enough. You really need to start racing carts when you're I was just talking to a young lad here he's six years old he's racing carts and you go from carts to Formula Ford and Formula Ford to Formula 3 and then to GP2 and so I say being good isn't enough you've got to have a lot of money to get on because nowadays all too often teams want money from drivers and that isn't enough either because you need to have a strong personality because if you're a Formula One driver nowadays, you've got to be able to form, perform well on television, not just on the track, but off it. You've got to be able to persuade the sponsors and be charming. So there's a lot more to it than meets the eye. You've got to be physically fit. You've got to be able to work with the engineers. It's a multi-skilled job these days. Anybody who gets to be world champion truly deserves the honour.